Speaking after many days of absence from the limelight, Court Secretary General Francis Atole is again on the warpath, with a focus being his pet peeve, NSSF. Atole is warning NSSF to abandon strong arm tactics aimed at pressurizing employers to remit the new controversial NSSF rates as a court process blocking the rates is still underway. Remember that uh, they literally rushed a law that requires workers to be deducted 1,000 shillings every month to NSSF. We annulled that law under this order of which we'll get copies. And if you want to know that there is impunity in this country, the NSSF and the Minister for Labor still writes to employers, some employers who are not aware that the matter on the new deductions are in court to continue remitting 1,000 from workers. It is illegal, and the Federation of Kenya Employers warned employers not to deduct 1,000 shillings from our members to NSSF. Atwali warns that he might be forced to lobby all trade unions in the country to force employers to stop remittances to NSSF, which he claimed was corrupt and acting with impunity. Atwali also took issue with the Labour Ministry, claiming it is propagating massive corruption at NSSF, asserting that contributions per year have fallen from just over 1.1 billion to 600 million. For the last two years, the contribution to NSSF has gone down per month from 1.1 billion to 600 million per year. Atwali castigated the government for sidelining Kotu's and FKE's representation on the board of NSSF, something he said was meant to cover up the corrupt deals present. Atwali has been away from the public eye for some time. With today's proclamations, it appears he is back in full swing. Victor Moyakane, Channel One.